So today we're going to be talking about the Gearhead Works 1 pistol, which is what you see on the counter here. If you follow the industry, you've probably seen lots of videos and pictures of this gun at some of the shows it's been to. Today what we're going to talk about is how the gun came to be, its beginnings, and where it's going in the future. So let's do that now. So the one pistol is the brainchild of Paul Rivas, who is the owner of Gearhead Works. Paul wanted a pistol they could fold up and put into a regular backpack, but he wanted something that would be a suppressor hose that would be dead quiet. Hence the reason that he went with a bolt gun. So the inspiration that Paul used to build the one pistol comes from the Remington PX100, which was also a bolt pistol. But what it lacked was having a pistol brace, something to stabilize the gun. A bolt pistol with just a pistol grip is not great for accuracy or anything of that sort. So since Paul was already working on the tail hook, this would be a great platform for that. This is chambered in 300 blackout. Uh, this has a eight and a half inch barrel and it's a model seven virgin action on a heavily modified production uh, chassis. And obviously we're just running a, like a one to four little pulled on here because there's no need to put a really big scope on this 300 blackout, uh, you know, zero to 300 yards is about what you're going to get out of it. And uh, this will serve that purpose very well. Obviously we have a rail down here and an Atlas bipod on it and just a standard AT mag. Of course we're running the Gearhead Works tail hook on this one pistol. Um, if you've never seen how this operates, how it operates right here, the weight of the guns counter levered against your forearm, which is very strong. It takes the weight of the gun really well. And I've shot this gun before. It is extremely comfortable um, to fire the one pistol. What you also have here is a Phantom grip from Venom Defense. If you've watch the channel you'll know that Venom Defense is a sponsor of Tactical Existence. We really do like their stuff so I'm glad that Paul decided to use one of these on the one pistol. Whether or not it'll make it in the production gun I'm not sure which is what we're going to get into now. We're going to talk about where the gun is going. So obviously like I said he wanted a folder so this obviously folds and uh, it's very slim. It fits into a regular backpack really well which you'll see a picture of that now. The, uh, one of the differences that you're going to see is it's still going to be a folder, but it's going to fold onto the left side of the gun. That way you can still actuate the bolt uh, with it closed if you want to. And it should uh, lock closed and open, of course. Uh, one of the other differences is going to be this gun is a Virgin Model 7 action, and the production gun is going to be a short Model 700 type action. So the action is going to be a little different. It's going to have a pick rail steel so you can throw, you know, some sort of optic on top. And then you're going to have your rail section here and you can put a bipod on here, which we just have an Atlas on here right now. One of the other differences is the chassis is going to be specifically made for these, uh, for the one pistol. And they're going to have M-lock slots here. So if you'd like to put anything on there, you'll have M-lock. And the barrel profile is going to be much slimmer and lighter, and it's also going to be fluted and a better quality barrel uh, as well. And as far as the grip, I'm not sure if they're going to be using the Venom or what they're going to use. Um, I really like these, so we'll just see where it goes. Now, one of the things we'll talk to right now is accuracy. A lot of you guys have asked about that, and we'll show you some video of uh, me shooting this and I'll also show a video of Paul using the tail hook and uh, shooting this. Uh, all the footage you'll see is at 100 yards and we're shooting at a 12 inch silhouette. throw these last two shots to show you how quiet it is. Third. 
and we're out here at the range. The target we're looking at right now is 100 yards away. We've got Paul from Gearhead Works. He's going to take a shot using the tail hook, and we'll see what happens. And that's a hit. So the accuracy we were getting out of it when we were out there is subsonics were about one and a half inch MOA at 100 yards. And then uh, the supersonics were about one inch. So we expect the same or better accuracy out of the one pistol, uh, the production gun. Now the camo pattern that you see on here is a new camo pattern that's uh, available. Uh, it's gonna, I think you can get it in the clothing and of course you can get it on your guns or whatever, but it's from a company called Altera and there'll be a link down in the description for them as well. And this is their fracture uh, pattern and they have several different variations uh, that you'll be able to look at. There's a, uh, there's like a green and a red and there's a bunch of different ones and it's a really good camo and it works really well in the right environments. So if you want to check them out, they'll be down in the description as well. But it's a really nice pattern on the gun. I'm not sure. I think, you know, it's just going to be a black uh, finish probably on the production gun and you could have that serial coated yourself if you wanted to. Now, as far as how loud the gun is, the gun is extremely quiet. Um, this is my Dead Air uh, Sandman Titanium. Uh, we've shot it with this. Uh, we've used a lot of different cans. We use an Omega, we use an Omega 9K, uh, a hybrid, uh, just there's a, a whole slew of cans and it performs really well with all of them. The gun is really quiet. So as far as MSRP, I'm not really sure uh, where it's gonna fall. I expect it to fall somewhere between the $1,700 and $2,000 range, uh, but I'm unsure because they don't have that information yet. Like I said, they're still working on the final designs. But it is a great gun. Uh, I can't wait to get one once the guns are in production. Uh, hopefully we will get the first one and be able to give you guys the first video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe as long as we're on YouTube. Who knows how long that'll be. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one.